questions from people. How do you live on a boat for three months and what's your boat look like? So let me show you. This is the bridge. Um, this is where the action for driving is. This is Ed's board that he works up as and drives. Sometimes I drive, but I never dock because, well, the boat's good in one piece instead of a couple. Um, this is, I sit next to him and I navigate from here. We use Navionics when we're navigating and I just make sure he stays on path. Other than that, let's go down to our porch area. Ready guys? This is our porch area. It's called an half. It's called an half deck. And this is where we sit and have cocktails with friends. And relax, you know, after a long cruise or just hanging out with people. It's a lot of fun. Um, over here we have underneath Athena. This pops up. There's a sink and a little cutting board for mixing for drinks. Here's another freezer that makes uh, ice cubes, and you can keep your cold beers in there and get yours. Let's go downstairs. This is the salon area here. This is better known as the living room. Um, so we just sit here, we uh, relax at night, we'll do our computer stuff, or um, just chat and have cocktails. This is our dinette set. This is where we eat, obviously. But then the magic for eating is over here in my Kelly kitchen. And what's really neat about this is I have a range, top range, as well as an oven. So I can cook just about every anything, as long as it isn't a big ass turkey. Um, food storage is all over the place here. I have a um, small refrigerator, but not as small as some refrigerators that are on some boats. So it can hold a lot of things. And then over, over here in. is our VIP stateroom. This is where our guests stay, or better known as the drones bedroom. Um, it's, I think it's comfortable. We slept in there one night. I thought it was pretty comfortable. We're still doing work on this, but you'll see it as it's coming along. Uh, water storage. We don't drink the water from the tank because it, well, it tastes funny. Um, over here is our v VIP bathroom um, on this boat. It's also anybody's bathroom, really. Uh, it has a shower, but we have our guests use ours because the shower comes out of this thing lifts up and you can spray yourself off. Kind of weird. Nothing we're used to. Um, in the dinette, there's storage underneath all the seats. These seat cushions come up. There's all major storage underneath there. Uh, we just keep pretty fratty stuff there. Um, this is the master stateroom. This is our bedroom here. This is where we sleep and stuff. And uh, it's got lots of storage. We got a hanging closet over here where clothes is hung. And I have this for all my clothes. And if you turn around and look down, that's actually one drawer. And that's what Ed has because he doesn't have that many clothes. <laughs> and then this is the master bathroom has a shower and a toilet necessary and storage is all over there too the shower's nice you have to kind of sit down when you take a shower but it's okay there is over uh, here in this closet that's up on the way coming up the steps is where we keep all the life jackets and the vacuum cleaner um, is all kept in here this is uh, where we keep, it's a little like booze closet and the radio. We have Sirius on the boat, which thank goodness, because we're not stuck listening to crap 
it's on the regular radio. Uh, it has a DVD player, but we never use it. We used to have a TV here, but we threw it out because we figured if you're on a boat and you're watching TV, something's wrong. So we don't really do that, unless it's Game of Thrones. I'm this way. <laughs> sometimes just have a glass of wine and just look at the beautiful scenery. Um, it's, it's comfortable. The VIP stateroom has a skylight in it that pops up so they can get that nice breeze that comes from the water in the room too. And this is our boat. And you're all welcome to come down sometime so come on down see it for yourself. <laughs> Not that way. <laughs>